Uh, Sunbelt Billy just lost uh, to Tennessee. Florida didn't lose. As, as bad as Anthony Richardson has been this year, he didn't lose. Florida's defense didn't even lose. Billy Napier, Sunbelt Billy, just cost Florida a chance to beat Tennessee. There is no one else. There's no other player. There's no other play. There's nothing else that happened in the game. This is 100% on Sunbelt Billy. Multiple, multiple coaching failures in this game by Sunbelt Billy directly led to the first uh, Tennessee win over Florida since 2016 and only the second Tennessee win over Florida in the last 18 years. Let's start with the first quarter. Florida drives the length of the field, gets down to about the 15-yard line. They went for it multiple times on fourth down in this game, first off, which is the sign of a desperate team. They get down to the 15 or 20-yard line in the first quarter, fourth and two. Instead of kicking a field goal, guaranteed points, guaranteed points, they go for it, don't get it. That cost them three points. Let's fast forward to the fourth quarter. For no reason at all, Sunbelt Billy goes for two when a one uh, uh, an extra point would have made it a 10-point game. An extra point would have made it a 10-point game. He Inexplicably, Sunbelt Billy goes for two. They don't get it. So now it's an 11-point game. All right, a couple more scores. Florida then gets the ball, uh, ball back late in the game. They go down and score, making it an 11-point game. Again, Florida scored to make it uh, an 18-point game, right? Tennessee scores. Now they have to go for two. To make it a uh, uh, to make it a uh, seven point game, don't get anyway. You guys watched the game. The point is, had he not gone for two the first time, he wouldn't have had to go for two the second time. Tennessee or Florida recovers the onside kick. The, the game literally just ended. I know I'm all over the place. Okay, here's let me try to stop and get this a little bit more understandable for people that didn't watch the game. Let me just calm down. I, I, this this was a crazy friggin' game, and Tennessee as big of a, as big of a win as this is for Tennessee, and this is a big win for Tennessee. They, they did everything they could to keep Florida in this game. Tennessee should have won this game by 21 points, and they just let Florida hang around. Last couple of minutes of the fourth quarter were absolutely crazy. Okay, so Florida scores an extra point would have made it a 10 point game. They didn't kick the extra point. They went for two. They didn't get it. That made it an 11 point game. R ridiculous. They go down and score again with less than a minute to go. They score, okay? That makes it where they have to attempt a two-point conversion to make it a three-point game. They scored with like 20 seconds to go. Of course, they don't get the two-point conversion, which means it's still a four-point game. Florida then does an onside kick and gets the damn thing. They get the friggin' onside kick, and then they complete a couple of passes and get it down to the 35. Well, if it was a three-point game, you could have kicked a field goal right there and sent it to overtime. But because you went for two twice for no damn reason, no reason at all, now you're in a situation where no timeouts, 15 seconds to go, you got the ball on, your, on, on the floor to 35 or 40, you got to throw Hail Marys into the end zone. It, it, coaching failure of a biblical and epic proportion here for Sunbelt Billy Napier. Never should have went for two that first time. If you don't go for two the first time, then you don't have to go for two the second time. Two extra points would have made it a three-point game. Instead, you went for two twice and didn't get either one, so it was a five-point game, and so you had to score a touchdown at the end to win instead of a field goal. Coaching failure. Not to mention the shit in the first quarter where you get down to the 15 and you should have kicked the field goal. That's another three points Florida would have had. Absolutely inexcusable coaching failure for Sunbelt Billy. This was bad. This was really bad. Neither one of these defenses played great. Uh, Florida went up and down the field on Tennessee. Tennessee went up and down the field on Florida. I think both teams ended up with over 500 yards of offense. Neither team can run the ball. Tennessee did have some success running the ball in the second half relative to what they did in the first half. But at halftime, the leading rushers for both of these teams were their quarterbacks. Neither team really could run the ball. 38-33. Tennessee beats Florida, and I don't want to rain on the Tennessee fans parade. This is a great win for Tennessee. Tennessee fans deserve this win. They've uh, been wandering the desert and the wilderness for 40 years. They deserve this, this win. Tennessee improves to 4-0. They were currently ranked 11th. We'll see what happens inside the top 10 the rest of the day. Texas just lost to Texas Tech in overtime, so they continue to circle the fucking drain. 
Uh, it looks to me like this Kansas helmet is going to be staying on top of, of the Texas helmet for quite some time because nothing I've seen from Texas this season leads me to believe they're going to beat Kansas, and Kansas won again today over Duke. But anyway, so big win for Tennessee, and I don't want to take it away from their fans. But to me, if I'm a Florida fan, I'm absolutely irate right now with, uh, with Sunbelt Billy. Coaching failure and coaching blunder after blunder after blunder. They're going for it on fourth down like a maniac constantly for no damn reason. Billy Napier went for it on fourth down in the third quarter of this game on like his own 35-yard line. I'm like, what are you doing? What are you doing? I mean, just things that make no sense. Now, he got it. He converted that particular time. But that's not the point. In fact, that's even worse because that's making it seem like that's a good idea when it's not. Um... But not kicking that field goal in the first quarter from the 15-yard line, terrible decision. That first uh, two-point conversion decision, terrible. Kick the field goal, make it a 10-point game. What's the difference between it being a 10, 10 and a 9-point game? That made no sense. It's still a two-possession game, whether it's a 10 or a 9-point deficit. It made no sense at all. You kick the extra point there, you make it a 10-point game. You didn't do it. You failed on the two-point conversion. That made it an 11-point game. So then when you did score with 30 seconds to go, you had to go for two to try to make it a three-point game. You failed again. So now you're down five. You kick the onside's kick. By some miracle, you get it. But you've already spent the entire game shooting yourself in the foot from a coaching perspective. So yes, you get the onside's kick. Now you've got the ball at the 50-yard line with 16 seconds to go. You've got no timeouts. And you can't kick a field goal, does you no good, you're down five, because for no fucking reason, you went for not one, but two, two-point conversions, and didn't get either one, so now you got to uh, score a touchdown, of course it didn't work, and you lose the game. It's just a coaching failure. Anthony Richardson, he didn't play as good as he did against Utah, but he didn't play as bad as he did against Kentucky or South Florida. Shout out to Anthony Richardson. He had the same number of turnovers today as he did touchdown passes, which is a miracle. He finally got a touchdown pass today, his first of the season. So he's now sitting on a grand total of one touchdown pass for the season and five turnovers. He had a critical fumble, critical fumble deep in Tennessee territory in the red zone, inside the 20-yard line of Tennessee. He took off running, fumbled the ball. Tennessee jumped on it. Uh, that was really killed all the momentum Florida had right there at that particular time. Um, Florida never gave up, though. They came back, and they had an opportunity to win it at the end with a Hail Mary, but, you know, because Tennessee is... Tennessee tried everything they could to lose this game. These Tennessee fans had to be pulling their hair out, had to be screaming and yelling. Uh, Tennessee should have won that game by three touchdowns, but he just kept letting Florida hang around. It blown coverages, big plays, giving up. Uh, it was just, it was bad to watch. But I tell you what, if I'm a Florida fan, I'm cussing Sunbelt Billy up one side, uh, up one side and down the other. Uh, what else is going on? Uh, well, you already know. Oregon with two minutes to go. Trails Washington State by five. Washington State's undefeated. Oregon, of course, just one loss. 29-34 with a couple of minutes to go in that one. Uh, Texas A&M and Arkansas game has just started. Well, it's three minutes to go in the first quarter. Arkansas is up right now 14 to nothing over Texas A&M. Got some great games coming on tonight. Ohio State and Wisconsin at eight, I think. Uh, in Southern Cal, uh, on the road at Oregon State is another one that could be pretty good. Looks like the Ohio State-Wisconsin game getting ready to kick off uh, over here. Uh, anyway, man, shout out to the Tennessee fans. And y'all know what that means. We've been waiting, haven't we? We have been waiting for Tennessee to get a win over either Florida, Georgia, or Alabama for forever. It's been forever since they beat either, any of those teams. And you know what that means. Hey, buddy, are you excited to come back tomorrow? Are you excited to come back on video tomorrow? That's right. Our buddy General Voltar will be making his triumphant return after a three-year, over three-year absence here on the channel. General Voltar will be making his return tomorrow, Sunday morning, during the Your Season is Over video. You don't want to miss that.